In this video, we'll talk about fibromyalgia, how they present, and when do we think about it in addition to diagnosis and management. So fibromyalgia is one of the most common diseases we see in rheumatology clinic. It's unknown cause and it is a diagnosis of exclusion. That's what makes it difficult to treat as well as it is difficult to diagnose. Now, when do we think about it? Now, when you think about it, when everything looks normal to you, but not to the patient. So keep aware of that. Now, the patient might tell you they have weakness as well as fatigue, in addition to the known widespread chronic pain that has been there for weeks, maybe months. They might as well in the review system mention to you they have depression and decreased concentration as well as inability to sleep as before. They might as well mention to you that they have irritable bowel syndrome symptoms. Now the patient will have on exam tender points at least six out of nine points and I'm going to mention them in a second. The last thing is you need to know that muscle pain is more prominent in these patients than the joint pain. There is no inflammatory signs of the joint involvement like tenderness, swelling, or redness, etc. Now talking about the tender points, we can draw a patient here. And you can just use it in your mind or try to imagine it when you see a patient. So. The face will be number one, two is going to be the chest, three is going to be the abdomen, upper back is going to be four, and five is going to be the lower back, and six and seven is going to be the upper extremities, and eight and nine is going to be the lower extremities. Now, in terms of labs and imaging, everything is going to be normal, CBC, CMP, CRP, SR, and X-rays. Now, to diagnose it, so before using any criteria, you need to rule out all other diseases that can cause similar symptoms. Now, if you want to use a criteria, there is a criteria from the American College of Rheumatology published in 2010, and the most recent one published in 2019 that was based on the analgesic anesthetic and addiction clinical trial, who in partnership with the FDA as well as the American Pain Society, they came up with a criteria that includes having symptoms for more than three months and six out of the nine sites tenderness. In addition to some symptoms the patient would mention to you like sleep problems and or fatigue. And they have to have all three of these to establish the diagnosis. Now in terms of treatment, the first time management is going to be non-pharmacologic. And this, is, this includes exercising and improved sleep hygiene in addition to cognitive behavioral therapy. If that fails and only if that fails, then you can start pharmacological therapy. And you know you need to know that first time medication is going to be tricyclic antidepressants and these have side effects despite that they are still the first line compared to SNRIs as well as GABA agonists which are the second line in case TCA is not tolerated or if the patient does not improve on them. And that's it for fibromyalgia. Hope you guys learned something. See you in the next one.